Hi, in the previous lectures, we've added the main structure of our UI design. And in this section, we will start designing the content of every tab. So let's start. Now we've added the main five buttons, and for every tab, we need to add the content of this tab. So for the day-to-day -day operations, we need a tab widget so that a tab widget so that we can show this information to the users. We need to add a button so that we can add a new operation. Add. We need to add a line edit so that we can take the name of the book from the user. We need to add two combo books. And we need to add a label for every combo box. Let's add our information. First of all, this line edit for books so that we can enter any the book name and so on. This for the status. Are we retrieving or renting a new book? So we will say retrieving. Retrieve or rent a new book and this one for the period are we gonna take are you gonna take this book for one week two weeks and and so on so we can pick numbers this is one day two day three days four days and so on how many days you will take this book let's remove this yeah so here we will see these and here we will see the type And here we will type add. And here we need to add the, this table columns. So we need to add the book code. We forgot to add this to our. Let's open supply and let's open our file. Every code, every book has a code. So we need to add code. the book code, the book title and here we need to add the book author book publisher and we need another one for book category and we can also add the book price Let's hit save, and this is our main information. Okay, this is us. Awesome. Now we need from our view, show probability editor, we need to add a placeholder for this line edit. So here we're gonna type the placeholder text book title. We're gonna say enter book title. Okay, now let's save our code, and we need to change the font. Of this UI so from here I did a search in Google for best fonts for desktop applications and I did a very good font so here let's add this font says you UI this font so we will add it as we can see the font to change it and we need to make this to a bigger one yeah something like this so now we've added the main content for our day-to-day -day operations we've added also 
the font style yes something like this yeah and that but okay now we've just added the content for the first step we need to add the design for the box step and so on and we'll do, we will do this in the next lecture see you in the next lecture